Lopez. Kind of obvious, but could you describe Stephen Curry's play and, and particularly in overtime? Uh, remarkable. I mean, he was, uh, he looked fresh. He had his rhythm, made tough shots, made, made nice passes, um, fought through screens. Uh, you know, obviously 17 points in overtime. Uh, it's, it's a hell of a performance. Craig Burnback, K2. Um, when you're sitting on the, I mean, is there anything you can change? Is there anything that you can do when that, that's going? Well, you know, a couple of them, um, you know, we, uh, we're a little late with our coverages on a couple of his ball screens. You know, giving up an offensive rebound and a put back, that's, you know, something we shouldn't do. You know, I thought those two possessions, his offensive rebound, and then, you know, we didn't switch appropriately. Uh, were two big momentum plays for them. Um, but, you know, when you guard him one-on-one -on -one and, and you're right there and challenge his shots, you know, that's what he does. And, you know, he's, he's a two-time MVP for a reason. Uh, Ken Go with the Oregonian. Um, can you talk about the intensity of the game, uh, particularly in the fourth quarter in overtime and, and the effort that your guys played with? Uh, you know, I thought there was a lot of intensity throughout the game. There was great energy in the building to start with. Uh, it, was a, it was an outstanding start. Uh, you just feel more energy in the building even before the tip. It was, um, there was a lot of, lot of energy. So uh, I thought our guys, both teams really played hard, with all due respect to Rasheed Wallace. But, um, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was a well-played game. Uh, both teams really competed hard. Um, made uh, some great shot making, uh, some hard fought defense, and uh, we just didn't write, have enough at the end of regulation. And obviously, overtime was another story. Uh, Mark Plumley from the San Francisco Examiner. Uh, after just such like a hard fought game, really put everything into it, how do you get ready to go back to Oracle for game five? That's what the playoffs are about. You go, you know, you go to the next game. And uh, you know, we played them well in game two, I beat them in game three, played a good game here, so we got we got to go down there and play a good game, bring it back here. Uh, Terry, it's Ian Thompson with NBA.com. What were they doing to make life difficult for Damian Lillard in this game? Uh, I don't know. You know, I actually I thought he had a lot of good looks um, through the first three quarters. Obviously, he didn't shoot the ball well, but I thought he had, um, had some good looks. Obviously, in the fourth quarter, uh, he shot the ball well. I just uh, I thought particularly um, Late in the fourth and overtime, uh, they just really got into us. We weren't able to free them up on, on ball screens. Uh, we tried to get them to switch. Uh, they fought through those screens. And so it uh, kind of devolved into some one-on-one -on -one play rather than uh, getting the movement that we like. But uh, I thought more than anything else was that they really, um, they really picked up their pressure and made it difficult to screen them. How did the Aminu foul trouble complicate things? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, he, you know, you look at he still played 39 minutes. So, um, you know, just changed the rotation a little bit. But, uh, you know, he was there. He played the played the fourth quarter in overtime. So it just changed the rotation. But, um, you know, it really but it didn't change the game that much.